In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the domain of a fractional function involving radicals. We're given f of x and it has a fraction inside of a radical. And to find the domain, we have to recall that we can take the square root of zero or a positive number. That's our limitation for radicals. And then also that for fractions, the denominator cannot be zero. So the entire radical here, the 3 over x minus 7, would have to be greater than or equal to 0. And the first thing to notice that in order for this to be positive, in order for the 3 over x minus 7 to be positive, the numerator is positive. So as long as the denominator, which is x minus 7, as long as that is positive or greater than 0, then 3 over x minus 7 would be positive. And notice that I dropped the or equal to because in a fraction our denominator can't be equal to 0, so our 3 minus 7 will just be greater than 0. And since we know these are the values for which we can have a fraction and we can take a square root, I can solve this for x by adding the 7 over, and we know that x is greater than 7. And since we're asked for interval notation, the lowest value we have is 7, and we use the curve bracket because we're not including 7, and everything larger than 7 all the way up to infinity, and again we use the curve bracket because we never include infinity. So this would be the domain of our function f of x.